At his trial, Dunlap's attorney argued that he was mentally ill and should not be held fully responsible for his actions. However, prosecutors countered that Dunlap was aware of what he was doing and had planned the attack in advance. He received the death penalty in 1996, which was later committed to a life prison without parole. The incident shocked the community and raised questions about workplace violence and gun control. It also led to increased security measures at many Chuck E. Cheese restaurants across the country. The Chuck E. Cheese murders remain a tragic reminder of the impact of workplace violence and the need for increased safety measures.